the Single Mom on a Farm. I'm glad you're joining me. Today we are going to show you how to make dinner in a pumpkin for our Halloween dinner. And today is Halloween at our house. We have one girl with a hairdo that looks like a spider. She did it herself. Girls, come show me your hair. And the first step of making the dinner in a pumpkin is to carve the pumpkin just like a normal pumpkin. Which is Caitlin's going to do. Let me see your hair. It is a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. I like that. And you have a candy corn hair to you. Mm -hmm. Cute, cute. When carving the lid, you just mo mostly want to make sure that it's at an angle enough that the lid doesn't fall through. If you cut it at this angle, the lid's going to fall through when it starts to cook and get mushy. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if it's like round or spiky, any kind of lid that you want to do. While Caitlin is carving the pumpkin, I am going to get started on the meat that I'll make in the pot. So in my pot, I have some grass-fed beef. I really like organic American grass-fed beef and some organic tricolor quinoa that I put in and I just added a little bit of water so that the quinoa will cook. And then I put some garlic and onion from our garden that I keep in the freezer. So well, I'm gonna cook that and they are finishing the pumpkin over there. And then McKenna is cutting some celery to add. Um, and you just can follow the recipe, but here are some of the steps. And the next step I need to do is cook rice. So if you have two pots, be cooking the rice at the same time because I use the wild rice. This is my wild rice. So um, it needs to cook for 45 minutes. So it'd be great to have two pots. I just have one. So when this is done, I will put it in a big bowl and then cook the rice in it. I just put in, added the celery. So it's got the meat, the quinoa, celery, the onion and garlic. And now I'm going to make like a white sauce. So I need some milk. Um, I don't really measure anything, but I will for the recipe. I will let you know what I ended up doing. I only use whole wheat flour when I cook. It's probably good. Stir it in. Looks like I need some more milk. And some salt and pepper. These are our organic sea salt. We just refill these. And some organic ground pepper. And stir it around. You can also use like a cream of chicken soup, but um, this is healthier, you know. It's, and it's cheaper and faster. Just add some milk and flour. Or you can use some beef broth or anything else you want for a liquid. Bergen water. So it's looking more like it has some cream of chicken soup in it. And, and some soy sauce gives it a really good flavor. And a little bit more milk. And let it cook a little bit. Then I'm going to cook the rice and add the rice to this. And it'll be ready to put in the pumpkin. Yay! I ended up plopping my mixture into the pumpkin instead of another bowl because I was too lazy to wash it. But otherwise, put it in another bowl and then you can add the rice to it and mix it all together. I've got the rice cooking over here. I just use the same pot and I didn't even wash it because it's all going to taste mixed together anyway. The rice is done, so I'm going to add it to the other mixture. Again, it's probably easier in a bowl, but I was being lazy. I didn't want to wash the bowl. it all in and I'm gonna stir it around in the pumpkin and then we will cook the whole thing in the oven for about two hours and this is what it looks like it's some meat and like the white sauce and some rice and quinoa all the ingredients in here I put the lid on and cook it in the oven I'm going to put it on a foil covered sheet so if it does kind of get droopy and messy, you can just throw it away the foil. And 
just stick it in the oven. I hope it fits. I hope I didn't get too big of one. I got too big of one. Really it doesn't fit. We're gonna have to cut off the stem a little bit. I'm just gonna try with my kitchen scissors. <laughs> you kind of want a, a stem so you can pull it off. Um, but look again at like how Caitlin carved it really good on the sides like that so the lid doesn't fall in. Even if this kind of melts, it's not gonna fall in because it's got a good shelf right there. Okay, let's try it again. Mm -hmm. Stick it in the oven. I already messed up my foil. But, and I got a huge pumpkin because I have a huge family, but you can get a much smaller pumpkin. Okay, I don't think it likes the foil on the bottom. <laughs> I'm gonna go like that so it slides better. And we've even cooked them in tiny pumpkins before. Like everybody had their own little mini pumpkin and I and I cooked the soups in like eight little mini pumpkins. Yeah, that was fun. Kids do like that. Alrighty, and it'll take about two hours. Maybe even two and a half with such a big pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Woo, looks good. I think it's about ready. I can't remember what time I put it in. But the house smells good, so you know it's about ready. It's gonna be really heavy, so be careful putting it out. And you don't have to worry about it cooking enough. Like everything's cooked inside, so you know, like the meat is cooked. You don't have to worry about it if you don't want to cook it very long. I only even cook it um, to make the pumpkin soft. And sometimes I cook it too much, and then it just like leaks out the bottom. I did that last year, and I couldn't even pick it up. But hopefully, I can pick this one up. Anyway, he's, whew. and it's going to look a little bit runny. Let me turn the light on for you, but I'll stir it up and it won't be that runny. It's good. And then all the, the pumpkin dough is perfect. So you can just scoop it out as your vegetable. You just scoop out some of the meat mixture and you can also scoop out some of the pumpkin. Mmm, yummy. And serve with a green vegetable like green beans. And then our rolls. Yum, yum.